So how many of you guys ever have the thought that, oh, like, I have a busy weekend or I'm busy and I'm already on a tight schedule, but, you know, the weekend gets here and you have absolutely nothing to do. Like, I've had that feeling before and that's kind of what I'm feeling right now. So there's like nothing to do until like probably later this afternoon because I'm actually going to go and help and uh, fix my friend's car. Um, finally. <laughs> so in the meantime, I'm going to work on my car um, with a small mod just to let time pass. And the reason I say it's a small mod is because um, originally I thought that I'd made this purchase by mistake. But in reality, um, because I did a little uh, research a few days ago, um, it wasn't. So um, today I'm going to show you guys on how to do a uh, LED installation on your interior lights for uh, my car. Um, so some of you Kia owners out there, if you guys are ever curious or um, want to look into as far as like what do I need or how do you do it or how do you remove uh, some of the light covers, I'm going to show you today. So uh, stay tuned guys. <laughs> guys so before we get started um, of course you're gonna need some tools in order to make this process as simple as possible um, and one of the things um, I do recommend in having is uh, a little door panel remover tool and the reason I say this is because I feel like it's a little bit more safer than actually using an like a flathead screwdriver just because of the fact that you know um, not all of us have a great aim me myself I probably don't have the best aim either at like taking stuff off like this and in the past I've damaged some of my panels and I kind of felt bad because you know I, I'm very uh, OCD as as it is already so with the fact that I've had that before um, I decided to invest in a couple of uh, panel removing tools invest in a couple of these they are not that expensive if you go to like to, to your local uh, um, hardware store and they've actually come in handy um, I think I got these for like five or six dollars and it comes with like a five piece um, panel removing set so with that being said I'm gonna show you guys what we're gonna remove today and what we're gonna install most people that normally um, modify their cars usually end up in changing uh, the interior lighting and the reason I say this is because obviously I don't know if you guys can tell but you know you get this like boring yellow um, glow and it, to me it's just like it's super uh, cliche not cliche but um, just it's very dim and I for one don't like that to me it's like if I'm at night I can barely even see with these things on all right so what you guys are normally gonna want to start off with um, again is use your panel removing tool and I usually use the skinniest one just because it's easier to fit in there and what you're gonna do is you're gonna squeeze in through the side right here and all you're gonna do is gently just pull it towards towards you and then just slide it see if you can slide it and have it to remove and once it removes you're gonna hear a little popping noise like so and just be gentle I mean it, it doesn't take long but you know you have those opportunities where you might break something and um, there you go so I obviously you can see the light just turned on but uh all you do is just remove this little panel and there you go that's the first part and grab the bulb just make sure it's not hot if you guys have been uh, having your lights on make sure they're not hot just pop it out, just pry it out. And there you go, guys. See, that's pretty self-explanatory. And all you're gonna do now is install the other bulb, um, like so. Let's see, this goes in right here. Let me see, where is it at? It's kind of hard to see when your car is all dark and not visible. So all you're gonna do is just put it in there and it's in once it pops and locks in boom pretty simple so super easy um, not it doesn't take a lot of time 
Um, just, you know, be patient with removing uh, the cover because of the fact that, you know, if you don't, you know, you don't want to, you know, clip everything or break something, you know. Um, but yeah, it's super easy and you can tell it's already a, di a difference. And I'm going to turn on the other light just so you guys can see how big of a difference it is. So if you guys can see, look how much more brighter this is. And it, this actually helps me see better at night when uh, if I'm pulled over or, you know, just to look for something like for my USB cable for my phone. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's pretty self explanatory and super easy to do when you have the proper tools, of course. So with everything going on today, it was a pretty productive day and I'm kind of glad that we got everything accomplished and I'm super excited that I got these bulbs because I thought they were the wrong bulbs in the first place and it turns out it wasn't. They were actually the correct fitment to go on these but originally they were supposed to go on my license plate lights. So that being said, normally I like giving a, a message out to the viewers towards the end of the towards the end of the video and my message to you is this anything that you guys want to accomplish in life is based off of a dream and the reason I say this is because when I first started doing the vlog it was based off of a dream when I wanted to do photography it was based off of a dream when I wanted a camera it was based off of a dream a year almost a year ago I didn't think I would be where I'm at now so I started my photography which is super awesome i'm still learning because i'm teaching myself some of the stuff i will tend to go to a class in the future but like i said it all starts with a dream and when you guys put your mind to it it can be done it can be accomplished you won't get the results you want right away but you'll get there rome wasn't built in a day guys and that's the thing i've been following ever since i started doing this vlog Slowly but surely, I'm sure this channel is going to grow into something bigger, just with like, same with my photography. And you know, once I dedicate myself to that, it's going to be probably awesome. And I'm actually looking forward to it. So my message to you guys is this, don't give up on your dreams because your dreams are only alive only if you have your mind set to it. So with that being said, guys, thank you for watching today's episode. And remember, keep doing you, peace out, and we'll see you next time.